What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Keith, and I'm back with another reaction video. Man, today, we got the most elite shooting guard in the nation, Valdez Edgecomb Jr. He's from the Bahamas, 18 years old. He's going to Baylor, bro. Bro, if you watch my videos, we reacted to his team. Um, He plays with Melo's son. Um, So, yeah. I can't even think of Melo's son name right now, which is crazy. Dang, I can't think of Melo's son name. I can't. I'm my mind is blank. I'm tired, y'all. But he goes to um, Luhi, um, with Melo's son. But yeah, before y'all get into this video, man, like, comment, subscribe, turn on the post notifications, bro. I don't know why I can't think of his name, bro. That's really frying me. Hold on. Keep Kyan. Kyan Anthony. My bad, y'all. But yeah, he go to Louie with Kyan Anthony. I think we, we seen him play before. He's tough, bro. So let's get into this video, man. It just makes you a little bit hungrier. I think this match Baylor is to get better every day, to win freshman of the year. You know what's crazy? I don't even know what the Bahamas' main sport is, but for bro to come from the Bahamas, get about to go D1, that's tough, bro. The national championship had to go number one pick. My name is Vijay Edgecombe. I'm 18. I play basketball. I just no days off. VJ Edgecombe. I've been playing basketball. Since Long Island Lutheran. Luther. Yeah, that's the name of the school. I play basketball. I play shooting guard. I'm a backup point guard. You know, everyone wants to be a point guard. I score the ball, make plays for others, and just play defense. It's the most exciting part about being a shooting guard. You're like interchangeable, so I get to go different positions. Growing up in Germany, Bahamas, playing basketball there was always fun, to be honest. And I play against grown men. I mean, now in America, you play against everyone your age. You know, you're back home in the Bahamas, you just play pickup for the fun of it. Being from the Bahamas, you don't really have as much access to what everyone has here. You don't have access to video games. You don't have access to TikTok or Instagram. You're just running through the street playing basketball. It just makes you a little bit hungrier. In 2020, I moved to America with my brother. He was in college, but I moved in with him, you know, just to try to get some looks, try to get a free education to go somewhere. Didn't matter the level. Bruh, that's dedication, bro. For somebody to come from the Bahamas to the U.S. with nothing, you don't got nothing, like, you come to live with your brother that's in college, he don't even got it all the way together. You just taking that risk. Giving it all you got, bro. That's I can respect that, bro. Many people won't do that. Me myself, I might not do that, bro. Making it to that has always been a dream for me. So we had to take the steps. Whatever it had to be done, had to be done in order for me to get you know free education and then just work hard from there for me. Tony Luai, I mean, from coming up from last year, it's been great. Training with Coach J is a little different, you know. He's seen how the pros train, so I go through a little pro workout, mainly shots and conditioning. So we try to do everything game speed. Now it's more of a balance, you know, trying to balance school, basketball, practices, individual workouts. Um, you know, you just try to stay focused up here. We practice six times a week, but VJ will always get extra work. Fool, six times a week, and he still got to work out. Dedication, bro. You came here from another country, you got to get to it, bro. All hard work, man. I'll go through a routine of shooting, form shooting, stretching. Once practice is over, immediately after that. Shawty say he trying to be the number one pick. Some more jumpers. He doesn't do anything on Sundays because it's like his church day relaxes. Every once in a while, he'll try to do something on Sundays if it's just been a stretch. But his schedule is pretty packed with either training or working on yeah, at Luha, I remember a game. Because at the Gauchos, the Jordan Classic. That's where mm. I was in that environment. 
Yeah, watching BJ play in person is a joy. It's um, it's different. Everybody else, they grew up with TikTok and Instagram. You don't really have that. He steps on the floor. We're not friends. I'm going to try to rip your face off. And then the game's over. Then I love you again. And that's it. So watching him play, for me, it's refreshing. Really refreshing. I had a lot of offers. But my last three schools was Kentucky, Baylor, and Duke. And that's what even made it harder. North Carolina, bro. I'm tired of y'all. I really am, bro. I'm tired of North Carolina, bro. How are they getting, like, Duke, Kentucky, Baylor? Bro, Kentucky and Duke get all the great players, bro. They're starting to get annoying, dog. Why are we never spoken in the... We're never spoken. Nobody ever said, yeah, I'm about to go to North Carolina. Or North Carolina is one of my schools I got to decide for. Never that, bro. Never that. It's always Duke. Tired of this, bro. Even though we be beating them, bro, I want some good players on our. No, let me take that back. I want some known players, like a lot of known people. Get some hoopers, bro. I mean, we got hoopers, but we need more, fool. It's just two blue bloods, great resumes, great culture, and then we have Baylor there too. Who's also a good program. So I made a decision now to go to Baylor. So I feel like that was the right one for me too. DJ choosing Baylor University, I think, was really for him the relationships and the fit and the fact that it's not that different from here. Okay? I can see him at Baylor, bro. Baylor, he looks like that type of player. Baylor be having those type of like style players, bro. I'm telling you. University Just like Mercy Miller going to Houston, that's right. That fits him perfectly. His game. Community, and I think for him, that allows for him to thrive and grow. My expectation as Baylor is to get better every day, to win freshman of the year, to win a national championship, and to go number one pick. You got Cooper flag in your class, bro. You got Cooper. You got Dylan Harper. You got Arias Bailey. You got a lot of work to do, bro. It ain't going to be sweet. They coming out to prove something, too. They got the same aspirations, bro. That's tough, though. Set goals and go get it, man. Let's know what's going on. Right behind me is the screen that he's going to be on. He doesn't really know yet. But right on that screen, he'll be right in Times Square. Um, showing his commitment to Baylor and some of the film that he took on his birthday day. So super excited about that. Uh, my dad's here, so I'm about to get an interview or something. That's tough. That's tough, bro. To get your face up in Times Square, that's tough. As a high schooler coming out. What I'm most excited about is probably just going out there to hoop and be, you know, my family going to be around me. I'm definitely excited to see if I can get some, some buckets in there for sure. Success look like for me. I mean, for me, probably that's finding peace. I mean, you, know, you want to make it, you want to have money, you want to have all that, but I mean, it's nothing. It's nothing if you not if you don't have peace. You know, you just being a miserable person all day. I don't want to be that. My dream world of peace would probably be like moving back home, like after retirement or something, just living a happy life with a happy family. That's finding peace for me. The thing that makes me most proud of him is that, that, that's what I love, like about different countries, the Caribbeans and stuff. Like over there, bro. I visited Jamaica, um, been to the DR, like, over there, bro, it's like, in Jamaica, they live free, bro, it's no taxes, none of that bull crap, like, they just live free, it's not like America, man, it's less worries, bro, like, just wake up, do what you want to do, man, you work, you grind, but you still get to just do what you want, bro. Sense of freedom is beautiful, bro. Like, I can imagine why he want to go back to his country in Bahamas, bro. It's nice. I haven't been to the Bahamas, but like Jamaica and stuff is nice, bro. I can see myself living there if I, like, when I retire or something like that. That'll be a cool place to move, man. It's chill, bro. People is really cool. I mean, depend on what area you in, but people is cool. It's cool, man. Cool vibes, bro. That he hasn't changed. He's 
gotten older, but he's just gotten better in terms of his maturity, but he hasn't changed. He loves everyone. He's just a really good person. It's, it's God and family for him in basketball. So just, you know, seeing this happy is good. It's cold. I feel good, but I'm freezing. This is tough, bro. We're going to react to that Xavier Lee is an NBA draft sleeper, bro, because I watched... I did a uh, video on him too, bro. But yeah, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, VJ Edgecombe, he seemed like a cool kid, bro. Level-headed. Focus. That's all I can say. Stay focused, bro. Reach your goals, man. Just like me. I got to stay focused. That's why I had to bring y'all a video today. I was tired, but I still had to do it. It is what it is, man. But yeah. I'm about to get out of here, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn on them post notifications. Smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. Now. Peace. Bro, wait. Road to 1K. Now. Peace.